why is there a hole? <laughs> Hi! The dummy stares lifelessly back at you. Then suddenly it springs into motion. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're fighting the dummy. What the? Force mage. If a creature would force uh, would attack force mage, it does not. <laughs> it's just like a blocker. I am thinking of a very specific Yu-Gi-Oh card. My brain is not conjuring the name. <laughs> Just like looking at this thing. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh. Oh my god, it's telling me the code. Oh. I can't beat it too fast. Or else it won't tell me the code. Okay, uh, skeleton. Um. Skeleton hand. Skeleton hand wing will want to remember that. The dummy's hinges creak back into position and it returns to his lifeless stare. So, skeleton. What else is in here? So skeleton arm wing. Oh Jesus! Oh, this guy's head is on a pike. <laughs> Magnificus seems pretty fucked up. Like Leshy was pretty yeah. fucked up, but Magnificus is also pretty fucked up. <laughs> Belte this other student's organ. This person's been steer on a pipe with shit. Just imagine you are an ice cube, slowly melting on a hot pan. Oh, I was only talking to myself. The pain of being a head impaled on a spear is, well, it is worth it, of course. Magnificus will award me the highest honor. I will be the centerpiece of his deck. Okie dokie. Okay. Ruby Golem leaves a ruby mox in its place.
with so many moxes. <laughs> Mox's cards on the owner's side of the board gain one power. Okay. will not be central to his strategy. I care not. He can use me as a chump blocker. I have mastered disappointment. No, <laughs> God, take this back. <laughs> Jesus. If mage pupil owner controls no mox cards, mage pupil perishes. Muscle mage. Go. Can I still fight the... I probably can't get any foils off of this guy. It would be too easy to farm. Okay, that does just send me down here. <laughs> how much I want to lean into the mage stuff right now, so. I mean, my current deck seems to be working kind of okay, at least. <laughs> okay. The note reads, the bottom sigil is found by the hard of hearing, or by those who hear too easily. The note reads, the middle sigil is found by the pale. By the pale? The top sigil is found by the greedy. The chest is empty, save for a single card. Rabbit! One. Is there- there's not a rabbit card. There is a yeah, rabbit there's... card. Okay. Oh, skelly. There's... okay, for a second I was like, oh, there was more. Hearing or hear too well? I knew it. <laughs> this game. Uh. <laughs> there it is. Yep. Sigil, right? Yeah, but those who hear too easily. Mm 
It should be correct. Hmm, but the rabbit actually didn't light up like the thing, so check the box again, maybe? You're right, it might be the... You reach back in for more and notice a sigil where the card used to be. It's... Yeah. You gotta be greedy. There we go. Oh! No. <laughs> Lost! Stimulation! Oh god. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Help? <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> my test has been sensory deprivation, you see? T to unlock the full potential of my mind, you see? It's unlocked now. Hear me, Magnificus? I'm ready! Can we have to battle? Okay! Wow. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy shit. <laughs> Incredibly stimulating. We, we are done here, right? I wish to see the light again. To, to sing, to dance. You wouldn't leave, would you? Oh, oh, God. <laughs> oh no! Free them! Oh, Jesus Christ! Uh, Master Garange. If Master Garange's or owner controls no mocks, cards, Master Garange perishes. Green and orange, so that's why it's garage. Wow. Blue Mage. When Blue Mage is played, you draw cards equal to the amount of Mox cards on your side of the field. Tomaton. If I open the door, you'll stop by on the way back and let me out. Right? Oh, God. God. <laughs> The note reads, Dearest Grimora, I believe PO3's plot may go far past the extent of a common power grab. Huh. Indeed, this great transcendence will have catastrophic and unpredictable results. The note is incomplete and ends abruptly. I urge you to consider. So PO3 is up to something? Transcendence, huh? I... I mean, he is the mechanical, like, you know, technological one. Maybe he's the one fucking with the code, actually? But, um... But then that doesn't explain why Leshy was the one in control when we booted up the game, right? Well, we'll go talk to him in a second. What's going on over here, huh? <laughs> hmm? Oh! Hello? Hi! Oh! That was something! Hi, Pop. I... I did something! <laughs> There's like a little leak, leak here. The paint leads to this kind of mirror thing, but I can't do anything about it right now, apparently. Hmm. Alright, we'll talk to Magnificus. 
Ah, you are here at the last. How do my pupils fare? No You're matter. suffering. <laughs> there are far more concerning issues at hand. Do you understand the canvas that you have been woven into? Nay, you are the brush, and the artist moves you with a terrifying mastery. Is he talking about us, the player? Mr. Card YouTuber? <laughs> <laughs> Is his name Luke Carter? Because, like, we... When I played the, the credits a bit, we had credits for someone named Luke Carter. <laughs> yeah, I think that was the card YouTube name. Okay. It's very good. My eye aches with premonition. Hi. <laughs> the future is very, very grim. First we must battle. Art, behold, the brush of the scribe of magics. My pupils would die to be painted by it and live forever as a card. But that is not the full extent of its powers. This one needs some bleach. Now for a bit of color. What? He's fucking up my sigils! Hey, you! Hey! Hey! Get your stimulation down there, buddy? He gets to dance, I guess. Is he gonna He's sing? He's to dance. Okay, so what do these sigils do now? I don't... I don't know what this one is. I do know what this one is. Yeah. Once the walkers are struck, then the strikers then dealt a single damage point. Oh, this is fucking up all my, uh, strategy then. Great. Wow, Magnus Mox. Can't be sacrificed. Well, Magnus Mox, it provides green, uh, orange, and blue gem to its owner. You draw cards to equal amount of Mox cards on your side of the board. Well, okay, on the one side, my skeletons won't die immediately anymore, but that was kind of the point of the strategy with the mm -hmm. undead, so that also fucks things up a bit. <laughs> I just wanted their bones. I'm just gonna have to just like change my strategy completely against him then. <laughs> there he is! Strategies. <laughs> what does that do? A ruby mox is created in its place. Forcing my hand that like I would have more of an advantage if I were playing 
the, the mage archetype. <laughs> Like that's kind of the case, gonna be the case with all of them. It's like, oh, you gotta play my archetype, this is a better archetype, play mine. <laughs> get enough bones to do much right now. still be able to win. When squirrel balls played, a rabbit is created in your hand. to winning now, actually. The first round. <laughs> the first round. The first round. Not sure how it's gonna be in the second round. Hmm. Hmm. I must be slowing down with age. I may need to set my brush upon my own cards once again. sacrifice. <laughs> oh, he can't be sacrificed, right. Mm -hmm. This guy just eats <laughs> Yeah, there he goes again. <laughs>
close to decking out. Oh, but I, I won. Yay. I didn't need to change my deck. <laughs> Yay. Very well. Wizard Mask, uh, Mentor. Very well. We have battled and now I may speak. You see, my eye, it aches because it remembers. It was excised. Oh, his eye- Oh! So you know, his card during the Leshy bit had the eye patch. Mm -hmm. So he must- So Leshy, maybe? Took his whatever magic eye out? <laughs> By none other than Leshy, yeah? The scribe of beasts. And a beast he is. Arrogant, simple-minded, obsessed with gaining power. But he is far from the worst scribe to become hegemon. You see, the ejection of my eyeball is far from the worst thing that can happen around here. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh... Hey, so that magic eyeball we kept having to shove in her own face. <laughs> oh, you know, you're right. <laughs> wow. Yes, it is. It, I mean, it must have been. Like, that explains that thing. Because, uh, mm -hmm. like, it, it's parallel with what we've been doing in this entire tower. Yep. You must be especially aware of- oh. Oh. Luke? Why didn't you put more batteries in? Okay, what's going on now? We've got more- We've got more found footage! Okay, I guess every time we progress the game, um, we're gonna get more... There's a lot of error. There's a lot of errors. Yeah. Just th 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 throw the disc away! You're getting haunted, my dude! <laughs> Shit's haunted. <laughs> okay, so from where we last left off, I, I have notes. <laughs> uh, hang on. have notes. At least I hope I saved all these. Yeah, okay. So, uh, from... So, from where we last left off, 10-10 uh, was when he finally got the, um... What is it? The, the, um, floppy discreter. And pl started playing the game for the first time. So this must be what's going on. So this is two days later, this one. So, oh. I don't know why, but the capture has like weird, uh, squares? More than the, more than what the game is showing me. Mm. Weird. Okay. Um, but yeah. I think I've just got to send it. To whom it may concern. Hello there! Exclamation point. My name is Luke Carter and I'm a fan of your collectible card games. If you've ever taken a look at my YouTube videos, you will know how appreciative I am of the merch that you send me for years. So it was a great surprise to learn that there is a digital version of inscription. I think maybe one of my fans printed me a very good copy of the words in the house. On further research, however, I have not been able to find any record of this game. Is this some kind of elaborate hoax? Any trace of this game? Is this some kind of elaborate hoax? The game doesn't seem like the work of a prankster. It at least appears professionally made. I am both puzzled and excited by this discovery. Any information you can provide would be much appreciated. Thank you, the working partner. Okay. Good enough. Okay. 
Okay, so he's been doing some research on the game, and he can find no trace of it. Because of course he can't. Because <laughs> this shit's cursed. <laughs> um, You're a freaky pasta, dude. So he's sending it to whatever company initially made the inscription card game, I assume. Mm-hmm. Not Wizards of the Coast. <laughs> not, not Wizards of the Coast. Um, I don't see anything else interesting on his desk right now, so... Okay, next day... Hey card gamers, I'm the Lucky Carter, and this, well, it's a bit of a strange video. Um, it's actually more of a question to my audience. As I've learned over the years, nobody knows card games better than you guys do, so I'm hoping someone can help me out here. Did anyone ever play an inscription video game or hear about it? I'm talking about that vintage one set card game I opened packs for last week. I don't know what I'm allowed to say. I don't want to get in any trouble here. Um, I think I've got the only known copy of the digital version of the script. I've been uh, filming myself playing it, and uh, it's weird, guys. <laughs> uh, I don't want to get in any hot water by showing the footage, but can someone please prove me wrong? Please tell me someone has a copy of this game. I have been looking online for days, and I cannot find I reached out to the publishers, hoping maybe they would get back to me, but as a fallback, I got you to look at yours. Hopefully it works. Um, that's it. <laughs> that's the video today, guys. Uh, thank you so much, as always. And, um, oh yeah, uh, what the fuck is the car? Um, oh god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna print screen that mess of binary. <laughs> Hang on. Are they gonna make me do this? Are they gonna make me do this? Sorcerers of the ocean side. Yeah, you know. <laughs> okay. Uh, I've taken a screenshot of the binary. I'll go try plugging that in a little bit later, maybe. But, um... What the fuck is the ca... What the fuck is the ca... something. What the fuck is the ca... Yeah, that's a little spooky, so... <laughs> okay, so... Weird shit. Expected. But weird shit. Okay. <laughs> then the next day. Mr. Carter, we have received an inquiry regarding the real version of the intellectual property description. I'm sure that this is software exists in the official form. However, if you have a deep from the possession of the IFA deep from the hardware, you will be held to the truth as a deep fraud and abuse act. The hardware will be considered stolen if it does not return to us within a reasonable time frame. Please carefully package the hardware and place the attached shipping labels on the box. When you mail the package at a local post office. We would like to avoid taking legal action in your case, so please do not delay in return to the proprietary software. Sincerely, Game Freena, customer happiness. What the fuck? <laughs> it's like, we wait definitely on. did not make this video game, but fucking give it back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sure. Uh, CFAA? Actually, not sure what if I know what that is. What the fuck? Oh, so Game Funa Customer what Happiness Department. <laughs> Sincerely, Game Oh, Computer Fraud and Abuse Act. Yeah, there, I mean... Yeah, they're making shit up. <laughs> but, like, they clearly want it back, even though they're denying that there, uh, such a thing exists. But it's like, I can see companies doing that. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course. 
We definitely cannot make this thing, but uh, hey, if like we can fucking take credit for it, give it back. <laughs> or more like they're worried that something did get leaked. Mm -hmm. Even if maybe inscript the actual inscription video game was not made by them. It's hard to say <laughs> at this point, I guess. We don't know if the company actually has anything to do with this game, or and they're just covering their asses, or like they're actually denying it while also wanting it back because they don't want people to know about it. <laughs> um, still nothing interesting on the desk. I'm just checking just in case, but... <laughs> okay, so... Kind of hostile... Kind of pretty hostile uh, email from the company. And then error. Uh, careful, this might be loud and uh, glitchy sound effects. <laughs> yep. That was the same as last time. But I don't see anything... I don't see anything interesting going on in them. Like, I don't see any, like... I mean, clearly, the game's not letting me do frame by frame, so I can't check every single fucking frame if they hidden something in there. And if they don't give me that, then I'm going to assume they're not doing that, right? <laughs> but, um... Yeah, I don't see anything in the, the glitches. I'm wondering if it's signifying lost footage uh, that we might get access to later? Perhaps. But yeah, okay, so this is two more days later. I think this woman's actually from Game Funa. She came to my door yesterday and I didn't answer. This time I'm gonna record it. Hi. Hi there. Hey. I'm a floppy disk for a game called Inscription. I'm redacted. <laughs> Hi. Hi there. Hey. Okay, we're gonna print screen that as well. <laughs> I'm a floppy disk for a game called Inscription. Hang on. Um. Let me let me save my previous one. So let's do. Uh, inscription binary oh, uh, one. Let's get back to desktop. Uh, hang on. I'm Hi! Hi there! Hey. I'm it, it definitely said redacted. <laughs> definitely said redacted. You are correct. <laughs> God, again, I had no idea it was going to uh, hit me with this sort of shit. <laughs> I know, right? We thought we were just in for spooky card game shenanigan, and now it's like, oh, oh, you're coming at us for our fucking, like, weird mystery shit? Damn. <laughs> I know. It's hitting me right in the weird, like, creepy video ARG shit. I mean, Clay, I don't think this is an ARG. Obviously, it's not an ARG, but... <laughs> yeah, but the vibe. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's the vibe. Coffee disc for a game called Inscription. Also, you can't buy a copy of it somehow? Uh... Sampling? No. No? No, I don't know anything about that. Inscription, you said? Yes. No, I don't think so. Really? Because, um, apparently you emailed us about it. You are a Luke Carter, right? Oh. You know the Lucky Carter gmail.com? Yeah, uh, you know what? That's, uh, I am Luke Carter, but that's not my email address. Because, uh, I just noticed because I've seen your videos. Oh. <laughs> well, thanks for watching. Awkward. Listen, uh, how do you know where I live? Exactly. My boss gave me an address. And how did you get past the side gate? It's locked. <laughs> okay, Luke. Um, I'm going to give you my business card. And if you remember anything, anything at all, feel free to give me a call. Okay? 
Will do. Take care. What the fuck? Yeah, that's what I want to have. <laughs> okay, so... Wow, they actually sent a person, so I... No, they absolutely know what this game is. <laughs> they want it back. Alright, there's another error. Sorry, more loud noises. Um, again, nothing seems to be in there. It's like a weird noise, but I can't really make anything out. Um, and then next day... Hey there, card gamers! I'm the Lucky Carter, and this is another pack opening video. Today I'm opening Secrets of Legendaria. Hoping for that sweet, sweet foil bounty. so hot. Uh, he seems a bit fucking creepy monster. Yeah. I can't tell if he's kind of on edge because of the woman, or on edge because of the missing footage we can't see. Possibly. Mm -hmm. Something that happened in there. And then we have one more error, which seems a little bit more, um... <laughs> Oh, I don't like how red that is. <laughs> red being scary. Red being scary. Okay. Um, so yeah. Uh, we've gotten a little bit more of what's going on on Luke's side. Shit's getting even weirder for him. Uh, for us. <laughs> I guess we, we are still kind of technically playing as him. Um... I don't know if these dates are still something that I really need to hang on to, but I do have the screenshots of the two binary stuff. Um, also, I don't know if that's really anything or if it's just, you know, a stylized oops glitch, but... Yeah. Uh, you know what? I guess while we're here, before we supposedly move on to the next spot, uh, part of the game. I'm going to see if uh, binary to ASCII converter. Here we go. Do do do. Okay, this is, um, some pretty long text for the first one. Like, really long. So let me see if I can type this in correctly. Give me a second. It's ASCII, but there might be a bit of corruption at the end? Okay. Converting. Carnoffle code? That is what it came out to. I see. 
emoji. Eyes emoji? There's actually something. I wasn't going to put it past him. <laughs> the the, per the, uh, the creator of the game, so... Let me double check that I had all those correct, so... so one. Um, it's gonna be difficult for me to double check with that, but I mean that that came out as an actual word, like an actual phrase. So I believe I got that correct. Does carnoffle code sound like in a real thing, or is that a made-up thing? It's probably a made-up thing, but. Okay, the other one is the lady's name. Okay, converting, we get Amanda. Her name is Amanda. Uh, that was all in lowercase. Okay, so we gotta keep our eye out for more binary. <laughs> I'll just keep, just keep that tab open, I guess. <laughs> So, Carnoffle Code, I guess I might as well Google that, but I don't think it's anything. I think it's made up. Maybe? Uh, yeah, the first hit is the inscription wiki, so I'm not gonna look at that. I guess. Uh... But that means, that means we got it correct. So, okay, so we've got more weird shit going on. I think that's as most as we're gonna glean out of these videos. So, back to the game! Yeah, stop browsing footage. Okay, we're back. <sighs> yep, and we did not get to hear the rest of what uh, Magnificus had to say. He also seemed to disappear. Which is troubling. Uh, Garange's Mox. Sacrificed while well, Sapphire Mox is on the board provides a blue gem to its owner. Yep, he's gone. We we can't even yeah, he's just gone. <sighs> can't do anything about this spot yet, it, it seems. Uh, I guess we're just gonna keep this monocle on. But that means we might find hidden spots in other locations as well now. I think that might be important to keep in mind. Um, also, does this mean- does the symbol mean anything, I wonder? Damn, I'm invested. <laughs> Do I have enough? Yeah. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait and see how the others are. Um... I should go... fight Remora, I think, before I fight PO3. It might be good to check his place out too, but let's, uh... Anything going on here? Not really. We have these two lit up now. Place. Oh, it's the mycologists. Oh. Uh, oh, you have found us here. The, this is good. This is good. W we require. We require. We require duplicates. Do you see the diagram? Two of that. 
Thank you. Oh, you, you have the cards. I guess I might as well, I have enough of them. This is good. Close your eyes. This will be gruesome. Spore Digger. At the end of the owner's turn, Spore Digger will generate one bone. Oh, he'll generate two bones now. Do you see the diagram? Two of that. P please? You have done well. Now hand the cards over. I think I only have two of them. I might as well. Close your eyes. Would you like to see what we've done? Now create two uh, mice copies. Oh god, they have little um. Oh, mushroom yeah. antennas. Yeah, mushrooms are growing out of them now. <laughs> okay. Um. So yeah, we can come here and kind of like, if we have enough duplicates of something, we can probably like, sacrifice them to the mycologists to make them stronger. Oh! Salmon! You picked the clover leaf from the stem. Wasn't that the um the thing that let us like re-roll things? Hey, this little, isn't that the kraken friend? Is friend? High five! Huh? <laughs> Great kraken! Great kraken <laughs> submerges itself during the opponent's turn. While submerged, opposing creatures can attack the owner directly. <laughs> Hi, friends. <laughs> High five, buddy. Sometimes. I tried this spot. Find good fish, corrupted fish, old fish, old underscore fish. Boat, scribe only, in case bad happen. Backup plan, let she say. Interesting. Mm -hmm. I catch old fish last time. Good fish. Beat Dredger, beat Goo, beat Casey. Oh, uh, Goo is the, the... <sighs> so Casey's from, uh, the graveyard. Goo is from the wizard tower. I'm not sure about Dredger. That might be from, um, PO3's area. Good fish. Lest she trust, I not disappoint. Hi, see you again. Ugh, you probably saw that the bridge is fixed. Now they want me to give you deck building tips. Like, use your rare cards, they are more powerful than common cards. But I sure am sick of being around these scribes. Each has a more twisted ambition than the last. I tell ya. I forgot your name. Yeah. Leshy? The guy's insane. Wants to use challengers like you as his playthings. To make it more perverse, he thinks he'll actually enjoy it. Oh yeah. Try to use a mix of different types of cards in your deck to fully utilize your bones, blood, and energy. Okay. <laughs> yeah, they, they are very much encouraging mixing and matching, and I should do more of that. <laughs> I think because you get an energy per turn, no matter what, it would be good for me to put in some of the, the bot cards as well. So I should um, not just do like, uh, just bone centric strategies. <laughs> <laughs> PO3, that bot is planning something all right. It's got the dredger working overtime. Huh? Oh. Many cards from other temples are better sacrifice fodder than squirrels. 
For example, bone heaps can be sacrificed early but have utility in the late game. That's actually a good tip. <laughs> yeah. Grimora wants to bring it all down, I swear. But more as a mercy, I think. She's probably right. There's some pretty nasty data on this disc. Hmm. <clears throat> a deck focuses on magical cards can be very powerful. Try picking two of your best gem colors instead of going for all three. Yeah, that I figured as much. Like in terms of the the gem stuff. You really want to um focus on one or two. Otherwise it just gets like too much, especially when like the min is like 20 cards in your deck. Mm -hmm. Cards with activated abilities are some of the most powerful. Balance your resources accordingly. What? You want to know about Magnificus? Mysterious guy. We all have our theories, of course. Some say he actually wants... No, it's too terrible to say. Ugh. Woof. 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 <laughs> Woof. I guess we can't, uh, do anything with this boat yet, but it's there. Does Leshy have anything to say over here? No, nope. he hasn't really had anything to say since we beat him. PO3 came personally to mock him once he lost. <laughs> You still pissed. <laughs> yeah, I think she said it. Uh, I think it was like pretty upsetty. <laughs> I knew it. Ooh. Oh, oh, it's the woodworker. <gasps> Few players visit me here. I sometimes ponder what my gameplay purpose was. Oh, it is clear now that you wish to know more. What can I tell you? I have glimpsed the old data. And I will speak nothing of it as kindness. The old data? Sound good. I will repeat myself. I will speak nothing of the old data. To know it is to die. But you players are never deterred by that. What can I tell you? It is corrupt knowledge. So evil that it corrupted this disc. Inscription the good? No. What can you know? Ask the scribes. They don't seem to care for human life. Leave me here to ponder and carve my wood. Being Leshy's puppet has given me much to ponder. Goodbye for now. up against everything, hang on. <laughs> Excuse me, Leshy, while I rub up against everything. <laughs> There's a faint odor where the meat once was. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, I am a baby. 
all. No, I would react very much the same way. Let's see if there's any other hidden spots. This one? No. No. Um, let's check out Gamora's area. Is there anything hidden in this area? Now that we have the monocle. still don't know about that guy. Like, what kind of, um, offering does it want? <laughs> this is just changing your player sprite. Okay, I don't see anything else hidden, really. Uh, let's check out PO3's place and see what he has to say before we try to fight Grimoire. Challenge me? Let's see your deck. Weak cards. Total lack of synergy. This pile really doesn't stand a chance against me. Look, I'm trying to finish up my conduit control list here, but the bots they're sending down the line are trash. <laughs> conduit control list? Get those workers to send me something good. Tell them to throw themselves on the line if necessary. And, please, have a decent deck by the time you're done. You're such a little shit, PO3. <laughs> I mean, he, like, it was always the, uh, the, uh, snarky one while we were playing through Leshy's stuff. Oh, it's this- it's these puzzles again. Oh, but with the new mechanics in them too. Okay, hang on. I'm just gonna take a look around first before I... <laughs> it looks like he's like sapping the energy out of the parts? The robots? Mm -hmm. Techno pack. Yeah, let's do it. Sentry drone. When a creature moves into the space opposing sentry do dr drone, they are dealt one damage. When it, when it moves into the space, interesting. Curve Hopper. He's a little smiley face. <laughs> yes! It's a little guy. That requires four batteries. No conduit. No conduit may complete a circuit, but provides no effect. Oh my god, there's like a circuit completion mechanic. Yeah, I noticed that in one of the other, like, battery related cards I got. What else is there? Meat bot. <laughs> Meat bot. Meat bot is count is counted as three blood rather than one blood when sacrificed. Thick droid. <laughs> that droid is thick. <laughs> I'm sorry. 